Today I will be giving you a glimpse of TLS 1.3. The concept of TLS 1.3 was established a long time back, but it has made it to the final draft and eventually to the public earlier this year. There has been a lot of discussion around TLS 1.3. Today we are not going to look at how TLS 1.3 works or how it is better than TLS 1.2, etc. Today we are going to look at some simple things that I'd like to show you in regards to TLS 1.3. I will be showing you how to enable TLS 1.3 on your Chrome browser to begin with. And the next thing that I'll be showing you is one of the pioneers in TLS 1.3 and the people who have enabled TLS 1.3 on their website. Plus, I will also show you a Wireshark capture of TLS 1.3 and show you how it looks like and how to capture that traffic as well. So let's get started. So I have Chrome browser opened up. I have opened incognito mode, not necessarily that you need to do that. I have just opened it up so that I don't get bothered up with all the plugins and everything. So you can access Chrome colon backslash backslash and then flags quite common to change the settings for Chrome. In the search flags, you can search for TLS 1.3. I have already enabled TLS 1.3. As you can see, these are the options that are available. By default, it is set to default which of course enables TLS 1.3 because it's now supported on all the browsers. However, it will default to TLS 1.2 as that being the negotiated method with different websites and web pages that you access. In this, I'm going to force TLS 1.3 if it is available. That way I can show you what TLS 1.3 looks like. I will be choosing enable draft 23. That was the final draft proposed for TLS 1.3. Of course, after setting that, I'll need to do this. I don't need to do this on my browser because I've already enabled it and it was previously enabled as well, but you'll need to relaunch your web browser. So please save any thing that you have opened on your browser before doing this. Once you have that, uh, you can go to a website called www.cloudflare.com. In this website, as you can see in the security section, you can open this tab. This is the Chrome developer tools. You can open this up using the F12 key on your keyboard. Once you have this up, you can see that the connection is strong, secure, and it is TLS 1.3. The encryption algorithm is also mentioned over here. The cipher as well as the key exchange, which are the two parts of generic TLS. So what we are going to do over here is also going to show you a Wireshark capture, which I captured for 198, 41, 214, 162. Might wonder what this is. This is actually cloudflare.com. You can uh, ping cloudflare.com to figure that out. So I filtered it. As you can see, it starts from the generic TCP handshake and then it proceeds with client hello and etc. You might notice if you're a TLS enthusiast and if you follow TLS very carefully, and if you have studied TLS, that the handshake over here is slightly different from how it looks in TLS 1.2. You'll see a client hello, a server hello, and that's there's usually a server certificate over here. And then you have the change cipher spec separately, and then the client also does the same thing, which you see a little different over here, because in TLS 1.3, you have the advantage of skipping a step, and the server certificate is also hidden or encrypted over here. So the server certificate is actually there, but it's part of the same step, plus it's encrypted within the application data, which you cannot see. So as you can see, the application data starts way before the TLS handshake actually completes. However, in TLS 1.2, things were different and you used to have application data, which was encrypted after the TLS handshake was completed. Capturing this information is quite straightforward. You need to start a capture on whatever interface you are on. I'm on Wi-Fi, so I have started a capture on Wi-Fi. And you just need to load this page, www.cloudflare.com or any other page that uses TLS 1.3. For testing purposes, you can use this website. Of course, they are getting a lot of hits on their website for sure, uh, just so that people are actually testing out TLS 1.3 or just to see how the things work over here. So that's all for today, folks. TLS 1.3 is new, it's secure, 
and I hope the implementation and the adaptation in the real world is much faster than other protocols. It will take some time for systems and machines to adapt to TLS 1.3. Servers have to be reconfigured and a lot of things around it. But if you really read around TLS 1.3, a lot of things have gotten better. So read about it on Cloudflare's blog about TLS 1.3 or any other resource that you can find on the internet and you'll get a ton of information around Taylor's 1.3. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.